Long time no see. What's going on, everybody? Uh, today's diecast review will be on a very bland car. Uh, just to get myself back up and and going with diecast reviews, I've been very busy, and it's been a few months at least since I've uh, recorded a review. Uh, however, this review will be on Casey Kane's. Daytona 500 test car. Um, yeah, no, this isn't the car that you see that's in the package. Uh, this is a donor box. <laughs> um, and inside is a custom car, which I will be taking out right here. And I got it at the Motorsport Show way back in January down in Oaks, Pennsylvania. And, um... Yeah, um, I must say this car has never been produced, and uh, it was used on a old Joey Logano number twenty-five uh, Venturini More Sport Toyota Camry. Try to get this thing out here, and this car was stripped off of its uh, decals, and only thing kept on it, from what I was told by the person who did this car was the the white background for the main color and ladies and gentlemen here is the car this right here is Chase Elliott's first Arco win dating back to the Pocono uh, one no the, the Pocono 200 I guess you want to call it for uh, the Arca series um, this was like I said before never produced and this is a custom die cast with like all like custom detail with a uh, race uh, version, you know, with all the parts and the rubber grind up and even the Hoosier tires. There are, um, they were off of another car that would be, um, that would be used for this one. So, without any more delay, let's go over the car. So on the uh, on the windshield right here, got Remax, main sponsor on the hood, Aaron's Dream Machine, HendrickCars.com, Chevy, uh, the Chevy uh, bow tie. Nine, Bill Elliott Racing, Impala, right there on the front nose. Above the wheel well, you have Hoosier, and then the usual contingencies. Uh, don't know what that says right there, above UNOH, Sunoco, Racing Electronics, Scott, Ansel, Hers, and Menards. Got the, uh, usual contingency sponsors for ARCA. On the A post, Chase Elliott's, uh, Twitter, uh, name tag. And then on the B post, Racing Electronics, Mobile One, and a bunch of others that I cannot read because of the amount of uh, buildup of rubber on this car. It's very, it's very amazing um, with the amount of rubber there is on this car. Uh, Aaron's and then Pepsi Max down the side. Got the uh, the good old number nine. Aaron's HendrickCars.com and then a couple of other um, associate sponsors right down here on the core panel Sony, LG, Sharp, HP, Samsung. On the back bumper, Aaron's HendrickCars.com 9 Chevy, and then on the two rookie stripes, there is Scott. Um, Scott products, I guess. And then on the deck lid, HendrickCars.com. And right side, as always, the same as the left. Now, let's get over this uh, detail. Um, I was at, I was not at this race. I wish I was, but um, at the time I didn't have a, I, I didn't have a license at all, and um, I would get my license later on that year in October but um 
you know, if I had the opportunity to go, you know, during the weekend, you know, on the on the Friday of the race, which I think it was, or the Saturday, it was one of those days, um, I would have definitely gone up had I not known that, um, that, you know, it was happening. Plus, I didn't really know who Chase was at the time until later on in the year. I will admit that. But this is, without a doubt, a die cast to have in my collection. Um, let's just go over the uh, the detail in this car. Now, the camera, it doesn't really pick up the rubber amount on this car. Um, like, there's rubber all and dirt particles, like, all over this car. Even on the windshield, like, it's, it's all rough right there. Um, uh, on the Hoosier tires, they're pretty clean, to say the least. A little, um, little tape right there on, like, all the tires right there. Uh, pretty much to symbolize stickers, sticker tires, I, I think. But, um, but yeah, definitely a car that I could not pass up on for a deal that was pretty good. It was in the, uh, the three-digit range area, so, you know, it wasn't cheap at all. And plus, it took some time for uh, the person I bought this off of to uh, to build and to complete. And um, I must say that I didn't see this car at first. Be really honest with you, I've Robbie ended up uh, seeing it, so I gotta give credits to him for uh, pointing this out to me, and I ended up getting it. And uh, so yeah, that pretty much does it for this diecast review. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe for new videos like this, and I'll see you all next time.